now we'll add two vectors together, but we'll do two ways. The one way is to actually draw it to scale. You know, there's something to be said about scaling something and, and doing it very practically. I had a friend that was in uh, honors physics and he transferred to engineering physics. And they had to draw a whole bunch of these vectors. And he, of course, was mathematically working it out. But these uh, students in engineering, they just quickly drew it and had the answer much quicker. When I was a little kid, I went to work with my dad. I was maybe grade nine. And I remember they needed to have the diagonal across this large floor space. They were putting up walls. My dad was a builder. And I, they needed to know the diagonal. And I thought, I know Pythagoras theorem. I can do this. And so I said, uh, what's the measurement? Uh, how long is this and how long is that side? And they were awful numbers, like 38 feet, 5 inches, and 3 eighths. And I said, well, I have a formula. I can work this out. And so I got a piece of paper and a pencil, and I started using Pythagoras theorem. And all the workers just laughed at me. They said, uh, why would you do that? And they just took a piece of string, measured the diagonal, took or measured the string across, then took the string, measured it with a tape measure, and had the answer in 30 seconds. And meanwhile, you know, like a half an hour later, I'm still trying to work out my little formula. There's something for practical, hands-on, just plain doing it. And I suggest you uh, do a couple where you will uh, draw them to scale and just get the idea of it. And then we will use it with, of course, the uh, sine and cosine and Pythagoras theorem. Let's continue our look at adding vectors. Let's suppose that I want to have two forces, a 5 newton force and a 3 newton force. One method is actually to draw it to scale and measure it to find the answer. So you could say, let's let 1 centimeter equal 1 newton. Well, for 5 newtons, we'd need a line that is 5 centimeters. And for 3 newtons, we'd need one that is 3 centimeters. So we need a ruler and a protractor, and we actually draw the lines. Five centimeters, three centimeters, and then we draw the resultant, where I start and where I end. And once I've drawn that, I actually measure it with a ruler. I measure R, and I measure theta. With uh, theta with the protractor, R, I measure how many centimeters, and that's the equivalent then, if you will, of the newtons and it works very well. You should actually try one. Now, the other way, of course, is Pythagoras and trigonometry, and we add them head to tail. And so I'm going to take c squared is a, uh, a squared plus b squared, and tan theta is opposite over adjacent. These are the two things I need to add these two vectors together. So if I have a 3 newton and a 5 newton, there is my resultant from where I start and where I end. And there's theta, and there's r. c squared is a squared plus b squared. And so when I put it through the calculator, what do I get? You should try it. 5.8 newtons. It should be the same as the line that you drew and measured. <laughs> and then we need to take the angle opposite over hypotenuse. We take 5 over 3. And that's what tan theta is. Then we take the inverse of the tan, or the uh, tan minus 1, and we end up with theta is 59 degrees.